In this video, I'm going to show how to create a simple sound manager in Unity. Uh, this simple sound manager would be ideal for small games, um, one that does not have many game objects in a single scene. And later on in the second half of the video, I'm going to show what to do as your game grows, um, how to handle sound when you have uh, multiple or even hundreds of game objects in a single scene, each game object having their own audio source, and how to handle sound in that case. So to create our simple sound manager, I'm going to be using a scene from a game that I'm currently developing. In this scene, I want to add some background music and I also want to add some sound effects to these turrets over here. So to start with, let me create an empty game object and name it my sound manager. To this game object, I will attach a script called my sound manager as well. Let's create and add that. This will take a few seconds to load. Now to this sound manager, I'm going to be using the single sound manager. I'm going to play the background music as well as the sound effects. Let's uh, open that up. I'm not going to be using the start and update function. So let's get rid of that. First thing I want to do is I want to add references to my uh, audio sources for music and sound effects. So public audio source music source and SFX source. Next I want to create a function that will play our sound effects. Public void play SFX. This function will take a single audio clip. Let's call it clip. And whenever this is called, this will simply play our clip on the SFX source, uh, audio source, which will be SFX source dot play one shot and clip. Similarly, let's create a function to create to play the music public void play music. This will also take an audio uh, clip. Let's call it music here. In this case, um, I'm going to be using uh, audio source.play instead of audio source that play one shot. And um, the reason for that is since there are multiple uh, sound effects can play at the same time, you ideally want a single um, a mute background music to play. And um, also this allows us to uh, loop the music um, when it, when it ends. So first let me assign this music to our audio source. So music source dot clip equals music. This line will assign our, the music that we passed onto our music source. Once that is done, all we have to do is just play it. Music source dot play. And that's it. These are the two functions. Now that we have our functions that will uh, play music and sound effects, let's uh, change this to a singleton so that it's easier to um, call from other scripts. That is simply done by um, using a few lines of code, which is public static, name of our class, which is my sound manager, and let's call it an instance. Next, in the awake function, let's only ensure that a single instance exists at any time in the scene that is done via an if else block if instance equals null we first check at the at the start of the scene if this instance is null then we set instance to this game object else we destroy this game object and let the other one persist. Destroy game object. Also, we can add this line. Uh, don't destroy on load game object. This ensures that, as the name implies, uh, when the scene changes, uh, don't destroy this instance. Now we have our sound manager uh, that will play music as well as uh, sound effects. Now that the script is ready, we can create the audio sources for music and sound effects and drag them into our script. Let's create a child game object here. Let me call it music source 
and another child game object and call it sfx source to both these game objects let me add an audio source and let's drag these audio sources to the script music goes to music and sfx goes to sfx one thing uh, you have to do in music is remember we have to set this to uh, disable play on a week because we're calling play from script and set this to loop now that is our sound manager ready now that we have our sound manager i want to call this sound manager from these two turrets so i'll open um, their game objects and to each turret i will attach um, a script called uh, manual firing let this finish compiling and uh, add this to the other turret as well let's open it so that we can start editing it right I will not be using the start here so let's get, of, get rid of that let's create a reference to our audio clip that will hold the uh, fire sound public um, audio clip and uh, fire sound and that's it and inside the update I'll make a check for a key pressed down and when that key is pressed down I want to play um, the audio, uh, this fire sound clip. Now how I do that is, remember we made this a singleton, uh, so I can just call it from anywhere. I don't have to search for it in start or awake. So I can go mysoundmanager.instance.playsfx. It will take a single audio clip and we can just pass our fire sound clip in here that's it now every time a key is the uh, space key is pressed down um, the turrets will make the, um, the fire sound let this finish compiling and select both turrets so that we can select our sound and I will choose a submachine gun for this so let's play so that we can test. Now every time I press space, we should be able to hear. There we go. Now the sound manager is working perfectly. Now you can adjust the volume of this from here. You can even create a script to handle this, but for such a, sim for such a simple sound manager, um, you can just handle it uh, from within the editor. For that additional touch to the firing sound, um, I already have muzzle flashes attached to my turrets, so let's call that as well. Um, this uh, is not connected to the sound manager in any way, but it just adds uh, that additional firing effect. So let's create a particle system, uh, a reference to a particle system, public particle system, and let's call it muzzle flash and similar to when the sound manager whenever the space key is pressed down whenever the sound is uh, played uh, we also want our muzzle flash to play once it finishes compiling i can drag the muzzle flash to each turret particle system this goes here and this goes here now that we play we'll get a more visual effect along with the audio that is the simple sound manager the music source works in the completely uh, similar way uh, you only have to call it once so be it from your manager script or from your um, uh, game script uh, call it from the start assign a single audio music file to it and let it play on loop 
Next, let's discuss a more advanced case, uh, as can be seen here. There are multiple um, game objects in the same scene, and each game object has their own audio source attached to them. This audio source obviously runs the um, or plays the, the sounds of this character. So we have a deploy sound in some cases, a death sound, and a fire sound. Now, the volume of um, uh, the, the sounds played for each individual prefab can be controlled using the volume sl slider of the audio source. Now imagine you have to change the volume or the change, have to reduce or mute uh, all sound effects in your game. You would rather not click on each individual prefab and change that setting. A much better way to handle this, or in, uh, as your game develops, as your game progresses, the more recommended way is to use audio mixers. And, to, and audio mixers is something a lot of uh, these beginner sound manager uh, videos uh, fail to mention, but they're extremely powerful and very easy to set up. To create an audio mixer, go to your audio mixer tab. If you can't see this tab, you can open it from window, audio, and then audio mixer. I already have uh, some uh, mixers in here, but for the sake of this video, let's create a new one. Let's call it new mixer. Now in this mixer, I will have two groups, uh, one to create, one to handle the music volume and one to handle uh, the effects, sound effects. So under the master group, create a new group and let's call it music. You can see that as I created a new group, uh, I got its um, own slider uh, object here. And uh, under the master group again, create a new um, group called, subgroup called SFX. Now the reason I'm creating these under master is because obviously the, uh, using the master slider I can change the volume of both uh, the music as well as the sound effects helpful uh, for the master volume setting or to mute all sounds in your game. And now to make use of this audio mixer, it's really simple. All you have to do is to select it in the output category of your audio source. Now without using an audio mixer, let me play the game and show the problem. that was really loud and to change that setting as we discussed earlier you'll have to manually change the volume of audio audio sources the better way is to use audio mixers now to make use of the audio mixer let me select all game objects in the scene and in the audio source in the output you can select a mixer group now the one that I just created is SFX in our new mixer and using this uh, slider here, I can change all sound effects on all game objects. Now let me play that and I can change the volume while the game is playing. Select the edit in play mode for that to work. And there you have it. Using an audio mixer, you can control, uh, you have much, much better control over your audio in your game. And that was a short video on how to handle sounds in Unity using a simple sound manager and using audio mixers. If you want to um, try out the game that uh, is being developed here, the link to uh, which is in the description below. So please uh, support this channel by uh, downloading the game on Android and uh, giving it a try. Um, I hope this tutorial was helpful and until next time, thanks a lot.